Hello and welcome back to Dials here at Total Escape Games in uh, Broomfield, Colorado. We are at uh, watching the Store Championships uh, 2017. Woo! This is James the Flapjack Lewis, your guest speaker with your, uh, all the favorite Adam Katnig yeah, and I'm, Joe Producer. Yeah, I'm the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> here we're watching our top eight game. We have player one, Connor Lutkin. Uh, Adam, why don't you tell us what he's flying? Yeah, so he's flying an Imperial List here with Admiral Shirnu with Kylo Ren, Palpatine, Adaptability, uh, pushing it up to, or down to eight, no, up to nine from eight uh, with Most engine likely. upgrade. Usually given the situation. Yeah, and then we've got uh, uh, Phantom here, Echo, with Advanced Cloaking, Veteran Instincts, Fire Control Systems, and Agent Callus Crew. Player two, we've got Willie Glassman uh, with the Rebel Alliance. And what's he flying there, James? So, we have a pilot skill three, Braylon Stram. He has equipped onto it the Baze Maldus upgrade crew card, R3, A2, and Alliance Overhaul. Next, he has a X Wing T70, Jess Pava, pilot skill three, carrying the integrated astromech, or the um, astromech M9G8 with a pattern analyzer and the integrated astromech. Last, we have Pilot Skill 5 Biggs, another uh, X Wing. Yeah, a certainly a staple in any Rebelist. <laughs> R4D6, and an integrated Master Mech. And it uh, looks like we just have a Captain Rex there, Pilot Skill 4, to fill out some points there at the end. Yep, last one there. So let's get right into the round with Connor versus Willie in the first of the top eight. Let's get it on. Dun dun dun! <laughs> so, here we have the table. If just uh, you wanted to give a, a coin toss, who do you. See favorite at the beginning of this match. I mean, I like rebels, but that doesn't really mean anything. Right. <laughs> With see, I see, I lists see here. <laughs> tanky list and a list that wants to smash your face in. Yeah, so, so I mean, we've got. I uh, go for the smash your face in, so I'm going to go for the Shiradu <laughs> and Echo. Yeah, the, we've got a lot of red dice coming on that side. We've got, well, because the. the um, the Decimator uh, with Shurnu, it's got three red dice, uh, zero agility, but super, super tanky with the 12 hole, four shields. Uh, not to mention the Kylo Ren and Palpatine crews. Yeah, he's going to be choosing what crits want to come out, and Palpatine, he's going to be saying every time, you know what, go ahead and try and push one of those crits through. I do like that it's going to be a little bit different here with the Palpatine, a.k.a. nerf, just to see, you know, he has to call his result before the roll. So we'll see how often... Uh, he calls his result and actually works in his favor. Yeah, well, Palpatine lives. Uh, it's it, it's nice to see him still being flown. Uh, nice to see the nerf didn't just completely <laughs> take that upgrade card away. Um, but yeah, so he's sitting there on sure new. Um, we also got Echo with the well. We already told you guys what he's all flying, but uh, certainly a deadly combo. So he's flying two of the crew cards. That uh, have the that, that assign conditions. So we've got Agent Callus as well as Kylo Ren. So Kylo Ren for the uninitiated. Uh, uh, he at some point I forget when because I always confuse him with the Upsilon shuttle pilot <laughs> Kylo Ren. Uh, at some Can't point do the same thing. I, I I don't remember if it was an action. I think it's an action. I want to double check that right now. Anyways, anyways. So he's, here we have. Uh, <laughs> um, go ahead and say what Kylo does. Here, here, here we have Willie though. He looks like he's set up for a nice jousting sort of stance there on the left side of his board. Uh, wants to try and probably keep those guys together. Nice condensed fire. Always want to try and keep them together for Jess Pava. Uh, get as many rerolls as possible. So yeah. So with the looks just... like he's looks like we have Connor setting up a Whisper for a potential bait. Whisper's going to say, uh, you know, here. Oh yeah, Whisper's <laughs> way down away. Look at look at the... me. I'm out here all by myself, but that's going to change. Oh no, Whisper. And it's not Whisper. It's Echo. That's what oh, we that's need Echo. to, that's we need Echo. to make sure. I, we're used to seeing Whisper because you want to get that pilot skill nine. I but... always, whenever one is on the board, I always call it the other thing. I enjoy Echo for those decloaks. Yeah. Um, yeah, Echo maneuverability. The one, but anyways, uh... all right. Here we go. Yeah. So we're, we're about players to are start choosing here. their dials and. We are gonna. Yeah, we are back to dials. There's the friendly handshake <laughs> to signify the start of the game. Okay, so. Um, so he's either setting his, looking at his dials. Or oh, just <laughs> setting his dials face up. <laughs> I think he's setting them down. There we go. So he remembers to set them one by one. Looks like. Oh. Really loving this top-down view. <laughs> uh, for those of you not here, we ended up uh, grabbing the camera and sticking it inside the ceiling. Uh, it's it's one of those ceilings where the tiles can be removed, so we've got the camera way up in the ceiling to get this really nice top-down, 
perspective instead of the kind of from the side where looks tear the room like apart. It's okay. It's all about the camera. Good job. <laughs> all right. So Connor set. Looks like Willie's starting to reveal. Yep, and we're off. Braylon looks like just one straight. He's gonna slow boat it. What do you? One straight for a, a Braylon one Strand. One straight to victory. If that's I slow guess. and steady wins the race <laughs> mentality. Taking focus. A, it yeah, looks like. Looks like a focus. Okay. So yeah. Um, yeah. It looks like um, um, uh, Willie is just kind of taking his time here. Not exactly just going straight for that echo bait. That nice juicy echo bait. Uh, probably just gonna kind of wait it out, um, not just go screaming in, you know, full force. Good. What? <laughs> okay. So it looks like we have a, t uh, was that a two or a three? Looked like a that, two straight from, uh, that, yeah, that was a two. From Captain Rex flying the, uh, the TIE fighter. The TIE fighter. The captured Rebel TIE, tie fighter. Went uh, one oh, straight no. to end it out with Biggs. Small bump, no worries. We like uh -oh. to uh -oh. here. <laughs> oh, he's off the board. Yeah, he accidentally <laughs> just bumped himself off the board. Looks like we're having a... <laughs> no, he's not off the board. He's all good. <laughs> we we fly casual here. There we go. This is a this is a nice, fun tournament. All right. Whisper <laughs> reveals. Looks like a two bank. Oh. And a cloak action for... Echo. Sorry, like it's gonna give me. It's oh, gonna yeah, take echo. me a while to say Echo, not Whisper. Echo. The Tie Phantom. There. The Can't Tie go Phantom. Wrong with that. <laughs> and it looks like we have a three straight, two straight. Oh, that would look it's like hard a three. to read. The, the camera is not terribly clear, but yeah, we'll say that it was a three straight from Chirino. Three straight from Chirino. Debating um, his action. Real hard. And because I believe, yeah, because they are got, back to dials. Uh, engine upgrade. So if he really wanted, he could boost. That thing is really fast. It does have a four straight, correct? Oh uh, yeah, it's got a four straight. Mm -hmm. I, four I, straight, I, three banks. I have a, uh, an, a, a an infatuation with the robots for how quote unquote fast they are, but really nothing matches the decimator if you throw an engine upgrade on that thing. Yeah, you do the four straight, the one extra uh, boost forward. That's a total of. It would basically be as if you were to take a six straight because you mm -hmm. add the two of the base in between. <laughs> that is kind correct. Nuts, but it certainly, if if he wanted to get Shurnu up at range one at um, the first round, he could. So players are setting dials. Looks like oh, Willie oh. is confident with his dials. Set down quick and... We are. Oh, there we go. We see that. Uh, echo doing echo things. The uh, D cloak using the banked template as is Echo's ability. Uh, is now facing north, board north. <laughs> we'll Up. call it board north. <laughs> According to our screen. Connor's left, board north. <laughs> All right, so Braylon reveals another one straight, just slow boating it. Yeah, uh, Willie did not take the bait. It looked like. It looked as if. Uh, a very practiced kind of a strategy from Connor where you have, you know, the Phantom go up just a little bit, try and have everyone go straight for it, and then you can just decloak. Just Pava, one straight. Yep, go decloak off to the side, as he did with Echo, and it's suddenly going away, and you've got them right where you want them. Looks um, like he's taking the focus. Yeah, focus is all around. Not much else to do when you're that far away from everyone else. Biggs also, one straight. Gasp. <laughs> what a round. This is so exciting. And then we've got Capture Tie. And tie. a focus for Biggs. What's Capture Tie doing? Oh, and two straight. And we have straight. a two straight, yes. He's slowly creeping ahead of the mass. He's got he's to he's watch that uh, slight turn. You don't want to watch You don't want a two straight off the board yeah. <laughs> by a millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> And it looks like he is focusing as well with Captain Rex. All right. We have a, that is hard to tell, two bank, is, three bank? I think that's a three bank. That looks like a three. Yeah, three bank and a cloak from Echo, not Whisper. Echo. Echo, <laughs> not Whisper. <laughs> One bank from Sherno. Coming in, so it looks like Connor's trying to kind of move his forces up to the other side of the board, try to drag out Willie through the asteroid field. Both players are just taking their time. They really want to choose their engagement wisely. You can tell um, no one wants to rush right into it because, I mean, unless you just have a bloodthirsty attitude, <laughs> it's yeah. not a... I, I like to it's, call that... I know. smart thing. I, I tend to do that a lot where you just kind of rush in. And uh, we are back to dials. And we're back... Ah, nah, nah, nah. But, 
kind of rush in sometimes when I play. Just I, I call it. I, I I say it's because I'm I. Growing up, I was a Halo player. You know, when you play Halo, you just kind of you run in, you try and kill something, you die. You run in, <laughs> oh, repeat. you kill something, and then you die. Yeah, those games <laughs> teach you a reckless attitude. Whereas we have a couple <laughs> of players here, a little bit more cool. More, they probably didn't play as much Halo as you did. Yeah, I, uh, I played a lot of Halo. I think everyone did. <laughs> There's no denying that. But uh, we are dials are set. Players are confident. We have a D cloak. Oh, that's two such bank. a crazy just D cloak. The two the, bank, I love it. The positioning is great. I. I love, I mean, you have to, I wish that you didn't have to put veteran, I feel like you have to put veteran instincts for the sake of giving her, him, her, Echo? Uh, her. her. We'll say her. her Echo, uh, to even have a chance of being able to get that shot and hopefully get a cloak from your shot. Um, it's just if you're going against aces higher than you, that seems a little scary. Yeah, just dance but, around uh, the side of the board there. Now let's see if <laughs> Willie is going to continue slow, well, slow rolling, as we say, along the bottom there. Is that what you think? Do you think he's going to start banking in now? or? I mean, I don't see why he would bank in now, simply because of the asteroid field, field is right there. Uh, I probably want to go, oh, oh. there it is. It looks there like a three, is. three bank from Braylon Stram. We've got the, the ARC 170. That is a cool paint job, too. It's all uh, blue. <laughs> that is a keen observation. It is blue. <laughs> I mean, he has blue templates. Maybe he has a. I think uh, we're just gonna say he likes blue. Anyways, focus for Braylon Stram. We're gonna follow it up with a two bank from Jess Papa. Uh oh. Uh oh. No worries. We fixed Fly it. casual. Fly casual. Yep. That is uh, some class A formation flying. Uh, as you see, he took the two bank with the inside ship, the three with the outside, and they are not bumping. Anyone who's ever tried to fly formation will always make that mistake more than once. Yeah, at least the first <laughs> time. <laughs> and we have a three bank from Captain Rex. And that is... I like to think that's a bump. Oh, no, oh, he's no. clear. Yeah, he's off to the side, so he's okay, because he was a little bit forward. And he's going to finish that off. Looks like a focus token. What is Biggs? Oh, just the two. So he's going to come in right behind, uh, I believe that's Jess. And then we have a two bank from Biggs and a focus on Biggs. All right, let's see where this shifty phantom is going to be now. Two bank from Echo. Man, and lots of the two bank. Shock, template. shock, cloak. Oh, my goodness. Surprise. Oh I never gosh. would have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, new doing a one bank. Connor is checking for a target lock on Jess. Negative. Uh, he is out of range. Oh, and he's boosting uh, off to the side. Let's see if he hits that asteroid. He's got his opponent holding me. things down, making sure things aren't bumping, deciding. Look, uh, and it looks clear. They it like it. Clear. So we're going to have a first round of combat. We're going to have Shirno taking a ranged... Three oh, shot range at three at his choice. Somebody. He's got three options. He's got Jess, Biggs. Oh, I guess that means he has to shoot at Biggs. That is correct. So, four shot into Biggs. Sharon right. three dice, range three. Okay. So, we've got Sharon with three from the primary turret. Uh, Biggs with, uh, I think, the three since it is at range three. Correct. He will have his extra agility. And just as a reminder, Biggs does have oh, the astromech that says Palpatine, that he takes. He looks like. Really? Uh, he put down the token. So it looks like Ooh. we've got, oh, a single crit. Yes. I assume that crit was added with Palpatine. And, and multiple, multiple evades. So nothing hit on Biggs. He is safe. Biggs is fine. Biggs is going to take the shot back. Range three onto Shirno. Three dice. It looks like we have a cocked die, maybe. Mm, yep. Yeah, players decide it's cocked. Reroll. Okay. And so that is two hits. Two hits. I think one was. And a focus, he had to spend the focus to get the focus. two. We got a single evade. Looks like unless correct. One shield off Shirno. First blood. Yeah, well, that, that's pretty good for Shirnu, though, just because he, he, one, he got a green dice, <laughs> which is a little unheard of, <laughs> with a zero agility ship, uh, and he rolled an evade with that green dice, so good on you, Shirnu. <laughs> You're big, but uh, apparently you can dodge. 
And they're trying to check arc right now, see if that arc 170 even has range within its arc. It looks looked like so no. So they oh. decided no, and I just heard Jess, range oh. three shot. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I see and a lot of paint. he's going to focus for three hits. There you go. And one dodge. Well, hey, again, at least Cherno. at least Cherno's doing his range three. He's uh, dodging his dodgiest. Benefit. And that's all the shots that can be shot. So here we have Connor. So like I said, we have two lists. Looks like we have one heavy hitter, and I'm going to say Connor's list is the heavy hitter. You got Shirno wanting to just pump dice with, obviously, you want Palpatine or uh, Kylo to, to... Yeah, to force that crit. You can choose... What the... crit do you think he wants to force through the most I mean, onto any of these ships? I don't think I've ever heard of anyone who didn't want to choose Blinded Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Uh, um, it is yeah, the favorite. You, you, so you, you choose the Blinded Pilot card from the opponent's deck after you Kylo Ren them and you give them the I'll show you the dark side condition card, uh, then the first time they're, um, they're hit with a crit damage, doesn't matter if they have shields or not, they are assigned that critical damage, or the, it's usually the blinded pilot, uh, for their damage. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you have shields still, that you're, de you're getting that blinded pilot. And so what do you think Connor needs to do right now to try and swing some of this more of this fight into his favor because he's he, the only one that took damage this round so if he if something needs to happen he needs to change something right now what would what would you do if you were connor well i think i would try to get up in their business <laughs> <laughs> get up in their business with maybe a hard two maybe a three it's hard to tell from this angle uh, try and get right up close. See if I can maybe bump a few of Willie's ships to not take as many shots and then just uh, shoot down whatever one doesn't bump. See, my thought's this. I'm going to disagree slightly. He has a 360 arc. Mm -hmm. Those X-Wings need to go through debris to try and get him if they want to stay pointed in the right direction for the most part. So mm -hmm. why would you not want to just r start running away, if, say go to the left, and uh, make your opponent chase you so that way you leave your your flank or your possible rear wide open to whisper. I mean, if, if I were... Oh, that, echo, that, echo, that, not whisper. That actually, get it. <laughs> that actually sounds like a much better idea. Um, Again, that's yeah, the Halo because player he's already, he's, start, he's, already, he's already started pumping the damage into, into Shirno, so you think he's going to want to chase that, so make him chase it. Yeah, that's true. Make him chase it and then come up from behind with uh, whisper. Or dang it, now I'm doing it. <laughs> echo. <laughs> echo. Here, we're going to write this down right here. <laughs> make and a serve big and loud, note. So you know it's echo. Echo. Oh, is that Pembroke? <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. All right, we fixed it. Echo. Echo. Okay, we have a sticky note, <laughs> so we are reminded. Bam. Okay. <laughs> so they did take a little bit more contemplation. Uh, you can see that even Willie doesn't quite know, uh, and it doesn't look like all of his dials are down just yet. But uh, nope, uh, he's got yeah, it. Yeah, there we go. Or he's, well, no, we have, we've still got Connor debating on Shiru. He, he cannot. He cannot decide. So yeah, there, there, there's two options here. You turn left. You turn right. That is the big thing with this. You know, your opponent is always asking themselves that same question: Are they banking left or banking right? Because if you, you know, choose wisely, obviously it's in your favor. But if you account for them to go one way, but they go the complete opposite, you always kick yourself later. <laughs> so what, what? What do you think Willie's gonna do here? Uh, he's facing right against that debris. You know, in my, uh, in my experience, I'm told that uh, take the Paul Heaver approach. Don't worry about obstacles. Run over them. Position ah. yourself. <laughs> so I do see. I do see those X wings just wanting to point themselves right at that uh, at that decimator because yeah, that's a that's a potential. We got three, six uh, from the X wing. The arc is a two ship or a three ship attack dice. Uh, with the title, which there's no reason not to ever run the title. He has it. Alliance overhaul. It is three out the front arc, two out the back, but go. also out the back you get to change a focus result to a crit. So he wants to try and potentially throw 11 dice into this decimator, which can very well go his way if, you know, zero agility. <laughs> as long as the red dice do him well, the math says, yeah. the math says okay. You know, we, we live in a red dice meta, so let the red dice be the red dice. <laughs> Wise-ish words from me. The other guy on the Back to Dales podcast. <laughs> the meta does have to seem to shift it to a lot of two-ship builds. Yeah, I've seen a two-three-ship. So it's nice ship. seeing 
So it, it, it's interesting, yeah, that uh, Willie chose to fly four. All right, so beginning around, decloak. He's going to go forward on the decloak, closing Ooh. in on that asteroid. He is, Almost. looks like millimeters. You can fit maybe three pieces of paper between there, which in the X-Wing world is miles. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, that, that is, a, that is, that is how you, you tell a good Phantom player from a great Phantom player. <laughs> is, knowing, is, it, is knowing, it better lucky or good? Well, both. <laughs> Why not both? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have Braylon Stram reveals Ooh. a two bank. Two bank. Interesting Looks choice like he's here. Maybe wanting to utilize the rear arc. What do you think? Uh, I mean, or was that a sloop? Well, no. They don't have. They don't have. Sloop, have. Okay, that's so. okay. Okay. I'm flying too many robots. So I've been and... flying this the, an arc all day. Uh, apparently not well enough, but <laughs> we have a focus token for. Okay. Braylon. Yeah, and it looks like Jess is hitting that debris. We're going to do a three bank from the outside. Oh, got to they pop have to remove off. that, otherwise they're going to the wide, the arc's wing collision. Super wide wings. Wide load. <laughs> He's that semi that's hogging the line. And but you can't blame him. They're wide load. <laughs> At least they, they, they need the little the, 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 the sign on the back. Maybe then I would remember, or like, me a little bit more careful careful instead of bumping it with my hand all the time. But. All right. Looks like Jess did choose to... It looks, so Jess, oh. did not hit the, did, Jess did not hit the debris field. Jess okay. was able to take the target lock on the friendly arc, uh, Braylon Stram, so that way now Braylon can re-roll one of his attack dice when attacking. That is what Jess is for, to target lock friends and give them re-rolls. All right. Rex, keeping the formation. And now I can only imagine where uh, Biggs is going. And it's, 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 you know, hindsight being 2020. I'm yeah. now wishing that uh, Connor is, chose your approach in wanting to go Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's interesting because uh, <laughs> Willie does, he's, he's being patient. He's, he's he being did very not patient. want to drag yeah. himself through that asteroid field. And it looks like we have a focus for Biggs. Yeah, I think it looks from here like he's close enough to everyone in order to be the Biggs meat shield. We One heart love. from Echo. Ooh. We've got an echo shot. We will have this combat this round. Looks like we have oh, a yeah. focus token. Is Jernu. that a focus or evade? Um, I can't tell. It look that looks like okay. That's an FFG acrylic focus token. Okay, so that's focus. Yes. So, Shernu looks like he's taking taking for a target lock on yep, Biggs. He got it, and he has it. All right, we yeah, are in he, combat. He did Shernu. exactly what you said he was going to do. He <laughs> turned away instead yeah, I mean, of it's, uh, it's it's safe instead of pedal to the metal. And both of them will be able to lay all their shots into Biggs. I mean, they're going to have to. And they're checking to see if there's going to be any kind of uh, obstacle obstruction. And it will be an unobstructed shot. I'm going so to. So, range three from Shirno. Shirno's effect is with uh, his pilot ability is effective in range one to two, correct? I do not remember. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> This is expert advice on the Back to Dial stream here at Total Escape Games in Broomfield, Colorado. We are live streaming the first round of the top eight in the store championship for Blank Total on Escape the first roll. Target lock for, for one hit. And there will be one evade. No hit on the bigs from Sherno. No hit. Bigs doing what he does. <sighs> Well, range three is doing what range three does. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, it is uh, we are going to throw a Palpatine into this. So it looks like we're adding a crit into this. So he's going to focus and Palpatine to get... It looks like we have Ooh. three hits and a crit. Palpatine that crit, and there you go. And that is why Palpatine is still pretty okay. And it looks like I want to say there was two evades. Uh, one evade, two, two evades. evades. There you go. Right. So he will take a hit and a crit on the bigs, uh, lose a couple of shields. Uh, yep. He gains and his it, cloak. It looks for... like you were correct with Shirinu's pilot ability. It Eight. is at one to two. Okay. That is a very powerful change of focus to an automatic crit. It's a very nice. Yes. Especially on a giant turreted base. <laughs> okay. And we are back to dials. So that was a definite favorable round for uh, for Connor, having the only one be able to take shots. Uh, but uh, 
the X Wings. X Wings are going to want to do something yeah, to change I'm, this round. I'm hoping. This turnaround. I'm thinking this time, like now that he's passed that asteroid, uh, I can I can see some hard turns to finally turn in and get those shots. Now, <laughs> I still have no idea where Echo is going to be. I almost said Whisper, but I didn't. Well, where Echo is going to be because. He, he just has, has so many decloaking options here. He does have a couple of asteroids. If he wanted to go side to side, that will be difficult. So hopefully Dude, he Willie knows it. that. I think he, he, he has it, it, but it, it, will, <laughs> it will limit his, his, uh, his uh, line of sight, uh, what he's pointing at, because uh, he does have those rocks to deal with after That's true, yeah, doing dude. either one in either direction. After, yeah. So, if, oh, well, I guess he's not cloaked right now. No, he is. Oh, he, he did. He was, yeah, he was able to get his shot. That's and so he right. got his cloaking from his shot advanced cloaking device Get but the uh, after the shot really um unfortunately i think it only it looks the best maneuvers look to be po a possible k turn for willie he just wants to turn around and reset his position because turning hard uh you can't guarantee that whisper is going i mean turning hard only limits you to point due north according to our screen yeah and if whisper one or that whisper echo wants to do what echo does <laughs> i think that uh need another sticky note <laughs> i don't know I, I think that, I think we may see a round with very limited combat this next round. I think we're going to see a positioning round. Um, yeah, either Echo's going to bug out and maybe try and uh, um, have those X wings pointed somewhere else, or take advantage of the fact that the the most they can probably do is point yeah point north. So he, if he decloaks around that rock and then turns in, kind of gets to the side of those X wings. First and foremost, Willie just needs to start pointing himself in the right direction. He needs to start, <laughs> he needs to start throwing his dice. He needs to start throwing his red dice. Um, but again, the right time to do that is what makes this game so amazing. When and why do you do what you do? Yeah, he's being very patient, and I'm looking forward to the... Uh, okay, let's see if he turns in here. We're still that setting is, the last of the dials. Yeah, being of, very meticulous on this decision. A lot of things to think about here, especially with that decloak on the phantom and uh Shirinu can probably just kind of take it easy for a little while <laughs> and now it remind me if i uh t the decimator has white hard twos and hard threes correct uh, i want to say the threes are red i just had this up good old smartphones that hold all the world's information really we'll find glad. anything out Let's in seconds see. oh no they're all white you're correct okay there you go he just they're, doesn't have the ones that would be broken that would be there are no red maneuvers it, on it, the it is fun seeing decimators run the daredevil upgrade <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> doing one hard yet but i kind of want to try that it's interesting it's a lot of fun now do you think it's just a ploy to some degree, some op some opponents have their, their their maneuvers already set, but they don't want to set their dials down until their opponent sets their dials down. Do you think that could be a case here? Well, <laughs> they, I don't, they've decided, I don't know. but they don't like setting that last dial down until their opponent has set their down. Just to think here, I am possibly are you trying to mind trick your opponent. <laughs> <called> a mind <laughs> trick. It is a valid strategy, but <laughs> knowing uh, these two players, uh, I know they're you know very careful about what they do. It's, are you saying they're not that witty? I mean, it could be that. Maybe that's part of them being careful, doing what they do. But um, I agree. You know, Connor in particular with uh, his phantom flying, he's got so many options to consider. Several different things that you know would probably be good, but it's it's finding the best one that puts you in the best position for one that round, and then two rounds after. Yeah, you're always looking for your second your your, your round after. Yeah, thinking one to or one to three rounds ahead, which I have trouble with <laughs> as a Halo player. Alright, starts round we're Ooh. gonna decloak forward. Ooh, decloak right there in front of the stinky sock debris. It looks like stinky a, sock it looks debris. Like a, it looks like a stinky <laughs> sock. <laughs> Alright, so Braylon reveals three hard. Or, no, that's Jess. Jess. Are they? Oh, they are of similar pilot, uh, pilot skill three, that's so right. they can They're do either or. Yeah. I, uh, oh, that is. Uh, we chose a talent roll. Oh, talent roll. Pattern analyzer does allow Jess to take an action before the stress is applied. All right. So, and so he will focus. Or wait. That is, that is some good positioning right there. Well done, Jess. Like I said, he needs to start pointing those things in the right direction yeah, he's, he's and start right throwing his red Echo. dice, and we're, we're, we're off to a good start. I suppose Echo hasn't moved yet. That is true. Only decloaked. 
which always throws me off. <laughs> uh, All we've right. Got a two too hard. hard. Yeah. Braylon Stram. See, one thing I find kind of difficult about these ships is, you know, especially when you're doing the hard turns around an enemy, they're still kind of in your blind spot when that happens. So not too much you can do uh, other than maybe, like, I, I like to fly in with the vector thrusters to give that barrel roll. I am a little very bit of happy with that upgrade. It's been it's, really nice to give ships barrel roll that didn't have it before. Yeah, I've been flying it with Nora all today. But here um, we're talking about an upgrade this ship doesn't have. Yeah, it doesn't have that. <laughs> so fortunately, no repositioning. Captain Rex, done. three you hard. You kind of just have to hard turn if you can. Keeping his formation strong. Keeping it tight. Yep, gotta keep together. Stay together. Stay on target. Stay on target. Ah. Let's see what is Biggs gonna do. He's re revealed the dial. Uh, oh, he's choosing his action. Oh, choosing he's still action. choosing his action for Rex. Doesn't know if he wants to barrel. Yep, barrel wants oh, to barrel yeah. roll him. He's a barrel rolling. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. I think that is probably the most overquoted quote in this game. Do a barrel roll. Yeah. <laughs> When we remember first playing, it's always do a barrel, do a barrel, do a barrel. Okay, all Good right. Good job, Slippy. Okay. Gay Fox. <laughs> Use the boost. Yay, Star Fox. <laughs> Finish it up. Looks like hard two. Oh, yeah. Pointing himself in the right direction, and I think that would be pretty nice because if, if, a... if Echo does try to do a one hard, um, that looks like that would be a block. So that's either going to be exceptional for for uh, for Willie. But uh, if Echo chooses to bug out, we'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure what Echo's. I mean, that one hard makes sense to get right up in there, come around the side. Um, I'm not sure if Connor anticipated having that. And we will focus with Biggs. Oh, look at and that. And we do have the one we hard, the so one this is going to be terrible. This is going to be terrible oh, for Connor. Oh, no. Because I don't think he's going to have. He may not have Ark on a shot. He also, I think, landed on that debris. Right. So bump and debris. So, well. That's that's the worst part is bumping that debris because he will still get to shoot first, but now since he's stressed, he can't. Yeah, he can't get he that cloaking take his action after cloaking firing. Device. This is not looking good. Well, it looks like he at least got out of three of the four arcs. That is true. So there's that. Uh, I, I'm. It looks a little close for big. Oh, but they're bumping, so they can't shoot each other anyways. Or uh, Captain Rex. May, may not. I don't think he will. Rex, it's going to be real close, but it looks out from here. So, yep, so sure new. Bank, trying to do a boost. Oh, no. That's just a boost. If it takes him off. Oh, then and he can't he can't, do he can't, it. he can't okay. complete the boost. He cannot complete taken him the off. boost. Yep, I would have taken him off the board, which is an illegal boost. And so no sure go. no from downtown deciding his action. I guess he's... Uh, I don't think he can do anything. Yeah, I think he's just... He's, he, he knows there's no action, so he's not he's trying pseudo anything. pseudo-focused. I think. All right. Echo's taking range one shot onto Rexler. Ooh. Or, uh, yeah, Captain Rex. All right. Look at all those dice. We got five red dice. Here here comes, like I was saying, here comes the Coming hammer. And we had a TIE fighter. Oh, and he even uh, palped, it looked like. There was a Palpatine, so, so we have only a hit and a crit Ooh. out of five dice rolled. And we will be fully evaded. So, no damage onto Rexler Brath from Echo. Oof. That's always... And always does not get to take the cloak action, because he is stressed. It always hurts a little bit to see that many red dice get thrown on the table, and only a few results pop up. And I cannot tell if... That, that laser was pretty quick. Couldn't tell if there was shots. So, we'll... We're rolling dice. Got two... Or is that just one? I oh. think that, yeah, this is Jess Pava's attack. Okay, She's so going to do a reroll. There we go. There we go. And Focus. it looks like we have three hits. And two of eights? Two of eights. There we go. Mm hmm. But because that was on to, from Jess Pava onto Echo, Echo had Agent Callus, so he was able to utilize Agent Callus on that. All right. I forget what Agent Callus does. <laughs> Agent Callus is a, a free focus result for both your attack and your defense against one particular ship. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, so we are back to dials, and Echo, we have 
Uh, Echo still parked on a on a debris field. Yeah, a little parked bit in a predicament. And is not but is it still at full health? So that's a saving yeah. grace for Echo. Nothing going on there. We have Captain Shirano, who's uh, taken... How many shields does he start with? Five? Uh, Shirano starts with four. Four so shields. So he's taken down. three hits. So that's actually not so bad for, for a zero agility yeah, ship. We got yeah, three points off of Connor's entire list. And uh, Wheelie's list looks like Biggs has no shield and... Yeah, that's the yeah, only big, so, so it's three hits versus three hits, so it's a fairly uh, even game. Well, three versus point. two, actually. Biggs has two shields. That is correct. I apologize. I'm always thinking of the new T7. Yeah, the, yeah, the they, they have the threes for that so much third fun. shield. I, th I think I might have to change to the T70s. Uh, but uh, right now we have uh, Willie as well. Only a couple of his ships are stressed. Uh, actually, only one. Only the only Jess should be stressed right now because she's the only one that did a did a. That's right. She did a, a talon roll. Uh, yeah, a talon roll. So the others have open open dials for the most part. Both players are still, I think, still looking in a pretty good position. Yeah, yeah not not too much damage has been thrown at either side, or at e least gotten through. Even though Whisper is on that, I think she's in a somewhat safe position simply because all of his ships, all of uh, Connor's ships, are. <laughs> 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 I, I'm doing terrible. Yeah, I think good. Connor's good. doing all right because all the Willie ships are pointing in the wrong direction. If he just kind of guns it forward. Um, he can't really turn those X-Wings around. Yeah. So it does he's look like okay, it, I think. I think Echo might end up hitting that debris again. No it does look what. like it. So, yeah, either you know, kind of go back around behind them. Being double stressed can be painful. And Connor pro well, Willie probably really does want to utilize, take advantage of that if that is going to be the case. I think the... Because Shirno is on the other side of the board. Like <laughs> He's not going to... Maybe if he does a, a, a too hard... Get into the action against right. them this so, next round. Yeah, it looks like as far as green options, the Phantom has uh, three straight, two straight, and then the two banks, and that's about it. So maybe three straight forward, gun it, or two bank, try and get behind him. Uh, clear that stress at the same time so he's allowed to get that D cloak. It's a lot of, a lot of things to consider this round. Lots of that lots is the tricky. That is the tricky thing with, I believe, with, <laughs> with Willie's list is what target do you go for? Do you go for first? Yeah. There's Who no is, way. in your opinion? I mean, you're probably going to go for Biggs first because that's just what Biggs does. But in your opinion, who do you want dead first? Probably Braylon, simply because the the stress spot and the firepower with that arc title. And the you know the that is a lot, and that's, well. yeah, it's a lot of points. You only have one arc to worry one about. Yeah, one agility. So you know so... you can get hits through, hopefully. Yep. Well, then, not to mention he's got bays. So it... if he misses a shot on one person, has arc on someone else, he can, he can potentially take that double. Shot. He can potentially stress two people in one shot because of that, yep. because of the droid as well. And or, it's a little sad round, to see that that droid has not come into play a little bit more often this game. I know that uh, Echo is probably truly dreading that that droid, does not want to be stressed, obviously. Um, so in that sense, I think uh, Connor's doing a good job of just at least avoiding he's, Willie from taking advantage fully of what his list can do. Yeah, he's been doing very well at uh, dodging arcs right now. Um, oh, we're <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to decide, wait, what target locks are where? Who's target lock on who? There you go. <laughs> Keep it clean, guys. Keep it organized. Okay, we got those ones. Okay. So All right. Jess Pava is revealing a one straight. One straight. Clear to her victory. stress. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to agree with you on that that phrase. One straight to victory. I don't know. I just like saying it. I guess. <laughs> Oop, bumped an asteroid. No worries. We'll put it back. It's all good. Spatial drift. Jess will choose to focus. Now the one straight to victory is when you have R2, which uh, no one actually has R2 in this list. So. That's not exactly how... Uh, yeah, I can't really one straight to victory with that. <laughs> Your saying is not making sense right now. Well, because he one straight's green, gives you a shield back with R2. So, you know, one straight to victory is keep Two bank your shield. from Braylon Stram. <laughs> clearing Jess. I'm very tired. <laughs> and he Just will whatever. focus. Yes, he will focus. So much focus. Okay. Your focus needs more focus. It, it really does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, where we've got the tie. He's Looks like a one bank. He wants to try and keep it slow as well. They're going to do their choo-choo train, line up the back pegs and front pegs. No, oh, no, he's doing hard. a one hard. No, it's not. That's a one bank. No, that's a hard. I can't see. 
It, it's it's underneath everything. Okay, right? that is that a hard. Is, that is a hard. Right there, bumping against bigs. Player collaboration. Make sure. There we go. Pegs are lined up. Very clean, gentlemen. Nice and clean. No, but they can't hear me say and that. Casual. I'm complimenting them. They just need to know that I'm saying nice things behind their back. <laughs> Why even bother? Jeez. <laughs> oh, look at that. We've got a fancy. I like those. Token. It's a corner. It's a corner marker. Those uh, are really. Yeah. And I, it, it it hugs the front pegs as well, so it makes it very clean. Yeah, I and got. And careful, one we're of bumping those. things with tokens. Uh -oh. Too many tokens. There we go. Fixed. That is, that is the trouble when you after. I mean, this is only game five. But your brain does start to get a little bit fatigued, and your movements maybe get a little bit sloppy after so long because you've just been a little bit of monotony. Yeah, but we been, do choose a 4K. <laughs> it's been a long from, day. Uh, from Biggs. Certainly, uh, a lot of Receives games a stress going token. on. A lot of thinking, a lot of brain being used, especially from these players. Uh, we don't really have to use our brains anymore because we're here commentating. <laughs> that is one, that is nice. I, I, get to, I just get to talk about people playing instead of trying to make myself think. Like, although I would much rather be playing in the top eight and potentially doing well. But yeah. so Whisper is going to do a three hard. Um, is going to run over the debris again, but looks like she's just trying to get out of dodge and just reposition. All right. So, so. they will keep the stress from before. Ooh, Doesn't rolled. look like he rolled a crit. Mm. So he does. He is double stressed. His opponent is a little upset that he's not rolling more crits on debris. How, <laughs> How dare ludicrous. you? <laughs> ludicrous <laughs> speed. What? Too hard from Shirano. Stand on the board. I think we kind of both saw that coming. It's either two not, or three, one or the other. Not that. Well, I mean, you could do both, really. Yeah, at that angle, you're, you're pretty Just good on it. Just moves him farther southward, I guess, is, is from our view. But it's always nice to see a good player collaboration. Willie moving Connor's ships there for him. Properly at that. He's going to choose a boost. <laughs> a boost, as we saw Connor. This way! <laughs> <laughs> this way! All right. Ooh, Shernu coming back in. Shernu is trying to say, all right, guys. Yeah, take a little bit of the heat off of Wacko. That's not bad. You know, here, 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 here you have a completely tokenless, stressed out Echo. So Shernu is probably going to say, here, bro, hey, I got your back. Here, shoot at me. Bro, at, I got your me. back. Hey, hey. He is uh, Alan Grant with the flare. So Shearno's going to go ahead and take right a range three shot. Um, uh, he's going to have to take it at Biggs, I would think, because I think that's... Uh, he, he can either take it at Biggs or it looks like the TIE Fighter, because the TIE Fighter is not at range one of Biggs. But anyways, we're rolling dice here. Uh, looks like so we had one, one hit, hit against two, two evades. evades against Rex. Uh, was it against Rex? Shot Rex? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It would have had to been, because... Four green dice. So. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that is correct. It was hard to. It's hard to hear. Yeah, going a bit fast here. Uh, maybe a little dust the volume there. I don't know. No. I don't know. I got it now. Okay. Good. Okay. Yep. Watching the combat phase here at Total Escape Games in Broomfield, Colorado. As we oh, Biggs wanted to shoot, but he is out of range by millimeters. Ah, Biggs gets no shot. So that's why he didn't shoot at Biggs. That's why he was shooting at Rex. Okay, I see. We've got, so Rex uh, is taking a range hold on, <laughs> three shot. Oh, range three from Jess on to Shirnu. Jess is doing a re-roll for having one ship in Looks range like one. Looks got two hits and one of aid. So one hit goes through into Shirno. Plink. I believe that is the last so, yeah. shield. Shieldless on Shirno. Do we call him Cherno, Chirpy? What do you like to call him? Be proper. Chihuahua? Cher <laughs> Be weird, know. be silly. I mean, you are the one who flies googly eyes, of course. I do fly googly eyes. They don't really help. So we are <laughs> back to dials. <laughs> we so are back to dials. Fairly uneventful round of combat. We saw one point of damage go through onto Cherno. Nothing Ooh. into any of Connor's ships. Or any of Willie's so. ships. <laughs> Both players are in a good position, somewhat. <laughs> I'm just, I just keep looking over here at Echo and just saying, "Poor Echo." Poor Echo. <laughs> You're Got so stressed out. Stress. Just take a deep breath. 
It'll be okay. Yeah, just go to do some yoga, maybe some Pilates. And... Is, is that is that your de-stressor? I, you don't really oh, well, quite strike me as the yoga and Pilates kind of guy. Go get some Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> there you go. Chow <laughs> <laughs> down on that. Hmm. All right. Another intense round of thinking about dials. Here on the Back to Dial stream in Broomfield, Colorado at Total Escape Games, watching the first of the top eight in the store championship for Total Escape Games. Removing focus tokens, as is tradition. Both players thinking avidly. Oh. Although, it probably looks, it looks like one player is more he texting? than the other. Is he texting? What's he doing there? Hey, his dials are down. He's allowed to pull up Star Wars Galaxy and start playing his smartphone games. Is that, is that what he's doing? I, <laughs> I can't know. tell. He's, he's doing something. Oh, I think uh, he's playing some music or something. Everyone needs a little... I, I, <laughs> I'm a fan of the John Williams radio on Pandora while I play. Some good stuff. So we have uh, uh, a first result from the top eight, one of our other tables. Oh, we have other Tyson tables. Sparks did come through on his. So first right. uh, top eight victory goes to Tyson Sparks. We Go will see Tyson. him in the semifinals top four. All right. We've got Congratulations, first, Tyson Sparks. First victor for one of the rounds in the top eight, Tyson Sparks. He does have home field advantage, I'm told. Yep. He is one of the regulars here at Total Escape Games. Uh, X-Wing Casual Night is on Monday nights. Uh, usually, a lot of the times they run a league. It's usually like two bucks to get in, and then you play, I think, 11 games over the a course of a few weeks. You can do, I think, most three in a day or something. I actually don't think there's a limit on that. I don't know. Either way, yeah. <laughs> so Just a Willie... little shout-out to Total Escape Games there. <laughs> <laughs> so Willie's almost decided, it looks like. Being very, very decisive, just very precise. Still got all four ships to worry about, and uh, a lot of places for them to go. Hmm. What would you want to do if you were Connor? Would you barrel forward and try and create some blocks here, or are you going to do what we thought maybe last time and make them chase? Do a three hard maybe around those asteroids, to, or a three hard to the right. Ooh. I like that and option. I don't know if the three... Start. I think the three hard might clip that asteroid. I am not sure. Maybe... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear that. Oh. <laughs> and we did actually have uh, our other round. So this is the only game still going... Okay, we're, Never mind. I'm I am I'm having a terrible math moment. We're, we're listening. We do to have two completed matches. <laughs> two completed at this matches now. This just in. Breaking and news. I, I do believe I heard the 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 name. Um, Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold is taking uh, a a uh, a victory. Tom Arnold. And congratulations. He will be in the top four semifinals. Semifinals. Here at Total Skip Games, Brookville, Colorado. Where are we? I mean, I wish I got paid for how many times I said. Total Escape Games, Broomfield, Colorado. I just like hanging out at Total Escape Games in Broomfield, Colorado. Maybe John will pay me every time I say Total Escape Games. Broomfield, I prefer Colorado. nice crisp high fives. All right, dials are set. Let's get <laughs> let's get it on, guys. So, Braylon Stram, Jess Pava, who's going first? Jess Pava. Jess Pava. Ding ding. ding. Doing a thing. Uh, no, no one straight to victory is here. We have oh. a two straight to. Oh. He's uh looks like he's one to. Oh, Stop Chirino from wanting to come too far forward. Yeah, but but if 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 Chirino were to, you know, one straight, slowly, one straight, one as long as he doesn't want to hit that asteroid, I think a two straight would probably clear, get right in front of Jess, which is probably well, kind of where Jess wants him. Assuming, yeah, well, of course, Jess wants him right in front. <laughs> but I mean, then you're right in front of Chirino, which is also not great. Braylon Stram reveals they're going to mark off Biggs. With that handy dandy little corner marker. Looks like we have a four straight template, so he's either going four straight around that asteroid or possible K turn. Looks like. Oh, it's a three straight. Three straight, which is a white maneuver on the arc. And positioning around white. the asteroid. Now I'm second guessing myself. I play the. No, yes. it's totally white. It's totally white. I play this ship all the time. Braylon Strand will focus. 
<laughs> I know it's white because I never do it because it doesn't give me an R2 shield. <laughs> I haven't flown that ship yet. I need to fly that ship. It's so fun. Nora is great. Braylon right. is also really fun with the way it's built out here with the stress bot. Captain Rex is attempting a three bank. <laughs> Is that three or two? That's a two bank. That's a two. Attempting a two bank, but will collide. No action for Captain Rex. Man, that's just... Rex just seems to be kind of mumbling along this game. Do you think that was an intentional... I mean, do you, do you think he hoped to clear that or an intentional bump for positioning? You know, probably positioning just to be try and stay close to Biggs. Because, uh, yeah, now we've got Biggs coming right up. Biggs doing a one bank. See if he'll avoid that rock, and that's going to be close. That's going to be close. really close, people. It is. Looks like no. Oh, it is clear. I think that one is a one or one or two pieces of paper right there. Oh, very nice flying done by Willie. Getting and a Biggs focus for right Biggs. up next. To, I think Biggs is within range one of everybody. Well, just yeah, right where he wants to be. No, Jess wants to be in range one of everyone else. So at least Jess is going to get those two dice re rolls. I guess they both do. <laughs> Biggs doesn't get any re rolls for range one. No, but he's the meat shield at range one. Touche. So yeah, Sharnu sure turning off to the side, going to chase around. Now, will he use Ky that engine upgrade? So he did choose the Kylo Ren oh, action, and Kylo we're going to do a blinded pilot onto Biggs. So he's oh. going to try and push this blinded pilot into Biggs this turn, it looks like. So he has to assign the condition, the I will show you the dark side condition to Biggs. Then he has to apply critical damage to Biggs in order to actually push that crit through. Oof. The annoying Oof. thing that can occur with I'll show you the dark side is if you still have shields the fact that it will push it underneath your shields when a crit is incurred it's a really good thing you can only choose pilot crits because otherwise you would just be choosing direct hit all the time and uh <laughs> here direct hit corn horn you're yeah. dead <laughs> <laughs> oh we've got um, the uh, I don't know what stick. that is we have a <laughs> that's the damage with their, um, our beige screen all oh, hail the beige screen taking out the center look kind of cool so cheer new <laughs> ooh hit crit does he have a weapons failure why is he only rolling two dice uh, oh he rolled a third it just didn't get anything okay off to the side there so hitting a crit on the bigs and so the blinded oh ooh. Yep, Blank so the, crit. The, so the blinded pilot will go on to Biggs. By yep. Biggs does not get a shot this turn. Yep, basically just one less shot into Shurnu, which is good news with that zero so agility. Biggs just chose to shoot, flips his pi blinded pilot. Okay. Merry Christmas to Biggs, blinded pilot. Rex has a range one shot through obstruction onto Shirna. Through the stinky sock debris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got dice everywhere. Uh, we do have a cock oh, die reroll. And, uh, and we're just Pava reroll. Yep, just Pava reroll. Oh, boy. Right. And the result is one hit. Okay. Like and a blank. A, so a bit of a mix up with which die was flat one hit on a cheer note. So okay. <laughs> Got some good commentary on the, their music choice here. Mm -hmm. I know you guys can't hear it. I can't really hear it either. I'm kind of sad I can't hear it. Sounds like it's some good stuff. Why not jam out when playing with little plastic ships? It's the best thing to do when playing with little plastic ships, especially when you play an epic match and it so takes five hours. <laughs> So Jess just <laughs> shot a range one shot into Chirno. Used Ooh. Jess's ability to re-roll one blank. We've got into uh, a hit. I think four. No. Well, they they put three hits. He oh, he one rolled was just two off to the side. and okay. he and uh, did a Jess re-roll to get a third hit. No agility equals all three go through, bringing him down to eight. He is one health above half. So he almost has half points on Chirno. Uh, actually, I think that is exactly half, because he's... 16? Yeah. yeah, it's 16, so he's got half. Okay, he's I can math. Again, because... my math skills, terrible. <laughs> I mean, you were right. You're, he's half is just, um, you do get that half points when you're at half. It is, so, like, it's not above half, it's at half or above. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it rounds to the... Uh, if you have an odd odd number, uh, doesn't it round point down? Point value rounds down, I yes. believe. So, 
I forgot how many points that is. We'll get there. Uh, Let's talk about this game. But yeah. <laughs> Back to Dials here at Total Escape Games in Broomfield, Colorado at their store championship 2017. We are in our top eight finals. Connor Lutkin versus Willie Glassman. Empire versus Rebels. Classic. Man, now I feel like we should have some cool like sound effect buttons like on the radio. I, I, we need to have pew, <laughs> pew pew lasers and little X-Wing and TIE Fighter screaming noises. I'm on it. I know you have an app on your phone. I'm there, sure you I don't, do. I, I, I redid my, actually redid my phone recently, so I have to re-download it. But there is one. <laughs> the players are deciding. Connor, very confident with his moves, knows where he needs to go. Dials are down. Looks like he'll be able to complete a uh, green maneuver this turn to finally clear Echo of all stress. He'll be able to get his cloaks in this turn, maybe start uh, making a difference with Echo again. But uh, I think both players are in a very, very open position. I mean... Yeah, there's a lot of different things they can both do here. Um, I think Willie's in a little bit more of a predicament simply because he has the cluster right in front of him. He has the the Chirno wanting to block him almost immediately uh, from doing any of his maneuvers unless he wants to point himself in the wrong direction. But here we go. We have a two hard. Braylon Stram. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's see if he can... Braylon start. chooses two. Do a thing. Do the thing, Braylon. As I always say, action Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> he will focus. All right, yep. Just got the target lock and the focus for a nice combo. Who uh, is he target locked on? He's it, that, that has to be Chirino, or was he... You know, I think... It looks like that's down there on, on Echo. I think it's Echo, actually, but it could be wrong. The target lock might be underneath Chirino's ship. Mm. Um, so it is on Echo, yeah, so... Yep, we're going to... See One bank that, uh, from Jess Pava. Are those models bank. going to bump each other? No, it will. Yep. So take certainly, off the model. <laughs> that is one excellent cloaking device on Jess Pava. There we go. Bump right into Shernu. Unfortunately, it's not. Uh, no oh, action for Jess. What's What's the pilot skill for decimator that does things when you run? Oikun. Oh, that's Oikun. That's right. Yeah, no, that's if he runs into you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bump. Bump. Mm-hmm. Bumpster. Okay. Rexler Brath. I see a three straight, and looks like he may have revealed a three K turn maneuver, possibly. Or uh, that's the uh, Captain Rex. But it will be a three straight. Wait. Narrowly avoids oh. the rock, but no, he needs yeah, to they, put they, it on the side. The he, used the, he used the side of the template, so he needs to use the side of the template and not move rocks everywhere <laughs> as he's trying rocks. to <laughs> figure out where his ship needs to go. There's so many pieces in the middle of this board right now. So it looks That's... like they decided he wasn't going to complete it in front of them, so it's going to be a bump up into the back of Jess Pava. Right, but we get to put the model back on there, so that's nice. You to see that top-down TIE fighter. It looks just like an H. And Biggs will follow it up the rear. Bump. Bump into Rex. No actions. That's actually a little painful. Only one action for his ships on yeah, Braylon. It seems like kind of what he wanted, because now you've got a range one from the TIE and from Biggs. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Although Jess I can only imagine. Shot at. We're going to get a cloaking action from Echo. Oh, a cloak action? Yeah, I guess he's not pointed at anything. And now Shirno's so. turn to move, and all Shirno has to do is three bank around and he's got his <laughs> pick of the litter well he's got his pick of bigs <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got bigs well he might he, 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 he might have braylon if he wants uh because braylon doesn't look like he's close enough to bigs to get the meat shield to get the meat shield <laughs> all right so he is doing uh, three bank just, around called it three bank around it's gonna get that that nice turreted shot through. and he is choosing to what as his action he will target lock he says target lock onto Biggs Shirno will take first shot of combat looks like we have range 2 through debris we have a hit and a crit oh wrong one That's and he for. blanked out his Roll, so that will be a hit and a crit going through onto Biggs. Ooh. 
Looks like. And what critical do we have? Uh, oh, that killed him. Biggs is dead. Well, no, I think. Did no, he, he eject that? He ejected the astromech to not take that last crit and survive, right? That is correct. He used integrated. So yeah, astromech. he popped his droid. He popped. He, he, the droid just took the took the hit. He has no droid, but he's still alive. He's not dead yet. He feels fine. Looks like. And so this two is hits. two hits. Well, that's a lot from of... Biggs. Oh, we got one evade on Whisper. Even with the cloaking device, so it took another, it took the you last. You need to remember off. that as Echo. We Dang had a sticky it, note Echo. right here for Don't. Echo. <laughs> <laughs> but damage onto Echo. So <laughs> yeah, luckily, shield. it's only one shield. Yeah, shields are gone on Echo. We got two hits against. Uh, was that two? The Echo. Wow, I need and to pay the, attention. Well, no, the last one was one, but he already had his shield down. There we go. There's okay. the there's the evades Echo needs. There you go. So. Cloaking device working. Echo survives. And oh. he did, I think he did palp in and an evade on that turn. Oh, we're checking arc on Echo. Looks, no. Yeah. No. Wait. Echo had no shot. Yeah, Echo has no shot. Well, also, Echo is cloaked, right? Correct. Yeah, so Echo's cloaked. There we go. We got a shot from, I think it was the. It's either, that's, I, I believe is, that's. Was it Jess? That is from Jess Pava. Okay, Jess. Onto Echo. Three hit, three, uh, two hits and a crit. And one evade. Ooh, Ooh so down goes Echo. Echo is destroyed. Ding dong, the witch is dead. That was brutal. Yeah, not not too much you can do there with those two stress going through that debris field. I think is really what. Ended it took up. A, it took him a little bit too long to try and get back in the game after stressing out that hard. Yeah, there's a, it's, it's it's hard to recover. Green that. dice can only perform so well so <laughs> often. Yep, the, it's it's there's a there's a lot a much higher chance of so red we have, dice hitting than green dice. We do have the first ship down again. First blood went to Willie, and uh, first ship down also goes to Willie. We have twenty minutes left in our round. Biggs is one hit from dead. We have Captain Rex at full health, Jess Pava at full health, and Braylon Stram at full health. So uh, the hammer is not hammering as hard as it needs to, and Willie is sitting in a quite favorable position, I believe. Yep, I think the the main source of damage from um, Connor's list was that Phantom, but now it is no more. So we've just got this big kind of tanky turret. Uh, hopefully going to try and, I guess, arc dodge. Uh, I think it has actually a pretty good <laughs> chance of doing so because the X-Wings are only so fast, only so maneuverable. And as we were saying before, that Decimator has a three bank and a boost, a and three a hard boost. and a boost, a four straight and a boost. It can get from one side of the board to the other in one turn, just yeah. about. Without that boost, uh, it would be much more difficult, <laughs> but it has the boost. So. so there is still hope for the Empire this is still a dice game, so you never know what will happen. <laughs> the dice giveth, and the dice taketh away. <laughs> they mostly taketh away from me. <laughs> they okay? mostly taketh away. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tease me and say they giveth. We're not bitter. <laughs> All right. Gonna Do you know where up. Connor hails hmm. from? Uh, his hometown? His home store? Somewhere around here. I think he comes into Total Escape. I think he's a total escape I regular. I think so. I think he's uh, one of the... This is, I'm going to say he's a total field. escape regular. But I wish we knew uh, more on Willie as well. I, 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 I'm the foreigner, so I, I, I know only a handful of people so well because you see him at every single tournament. The community is an amazing thing. But here we are. Dials are flipping. Braylon Ooh. It's going to do a two bank. Looks like he's possibly wanting to utilize that back arc, do you think? Yep. I mean, I would, certainly. Uh, you get the, the free focus to crit. Um, it, it might as well just, it, it's a lot more difficult to like try and turn around than it is to just turn the other way and get the rear arc. Mm -hmm. Poot, poot, out the poot, poot. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right, three well bank from said, Jess Pava. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Jess Pava just trying to get out of dodge there. Uh, yeah, it seems like at this point, just trying to keep a bunch of the ships out of mm -hmm. the way. Jess Pava will focus. And Jess Pava does still have the target lock on Rexler or uh, okay. on Braylon Strand for uh, the, the attack reroll. Oh, that's right. It's on Braylon. Aha. 
So that is a, a three bank. Target lock. Ooh, and that right. will be a collision. And, and so ooh, we have three, three crits. crits. Ooh. With a lot of... Dropping frames a little. Okay. So two of those <laughs> crits go through into Biggs. That. Biggs will die with this fire exchange. Oh, we are dropping... still dropping you can see there it is dropping every single frame okay oh no and biggs is dead taken off the table no i guess it's still recording so anyways mm -hmm. even if i think that was a situation where he could have chosen to use his droid ability had he had his droid ability taken three hits or more that were uncanceled that's a really tricky joy to have work in your favor all the time yeah, um, at this point, you know, stressing out the st stressing out Cherno isn't really going to do much mm -mm. because it has no red maneuvers. So if anything, you're just maybe preventing it from a few actions, but that's that's it, and it doesn't really care because uh, it's still a three dice large turret. So, in your opinion, here, Adam, who is in a more favorable position? Well, it's it's it, from what I see, it's looking like Willie simply because he's he hasn't barely taken anything. I mean, uh, besides from Biggs, but that's you know that's what Biggs is for. I agree. His three ships that are remaining, untouched. Oh, but, actually, uh, Biggs is dead. Biggs died last yeah, round. Biggs is dead. So What's he has taken. Ah. Connor did do <laughs> oh the first God. step into what he needs. Took step one. Took one ship off. But it looks like we yeah, revealed uh, a uh, was that a, a Talon roll from Jess Pava. Uh -oh. to flip herself around. Or no, that's and then oh, now, so, yeah, okay. now we have Braylon Stram, too hard, bringing it around. I believe he will focus. Yeah, focus for focus for um, the fence. <laughs> All right, and then we've got the Tie Fighter, which is going to do something. Rex oh. is choosing a one hard. One hard. To the right. All right. Doing the slow TIE Fighter turn around as opposed to just a K turn. About face. About somewhere. face. <laughs> oh, barrel roll out of the way. He wants to try and, looks like, no, gain really. as much distance, does not want to let that uh, decimator close range. Yeah, it looks like he's. Uh, Two harding. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. We might... I'm not sure if we're going to have range here. And he is going to choose to try and boost oh, up through that. Now we will have range here. Yes, certainly. He does hit that debris, but So he can't is... complete it. He may have range oh, here. Oh, that's right. He can't complete it since he hits the debris. So... Looks like he's looking at his dial to choose... Uh... Okay, so they're deciding no combat this round. Yep, too far away. Got about half the board in between all the ships. So yeah, we've got the Biggs. The meat shield is down from Willie's list, but he's all of his heavy hitters, and then I guess Captain Rex <laughs> still remain. <laughs> hmm. I believe Willie's in a good position to point himself in the right direction this round. Yeah, especially uh, with that arc. Shirano has. Uh, a little bit of navigating to do, so he only really has a couple of options, obviously, if he doesn't want to be on a rock. Um, so this may be, a, hopefully, a, a good telegraphing moment for Willie to really pull ahead here and gain a favorable position. Yeah, so are you thinking that Scherner's going to go left or right, or you know, what's it looking like? I, Looking at this, I would sure as heck hope that I could position him with a three bank up and around to the left. Or, yeah, so um, north, north But we'll screen? see. <laughs> so, Jess Pava reveals a three bank. Keeps her stress. Oh, sounds like uh, Willie forgot that he was stressed. Oh. Well... At least he didn't do a red maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Too hard. Braylon Strand. Yeah, it's starting, starting on that Tokens toolbox. follow. Getting everyone pointing in the same direction. Uh, and let's see if the tie follows suit. 
I'm guessing two hard, one hard. I was thinking, oh. Three hard. Keep three it around. Hard. Okay, yeah. Three hard from Rex. All right. Let's, yeah, point all the guns. Like I said, point him in the right. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, yep. here we go. Here we go. Cherno going right into the kill box. Let's see if Cherno can survive. And was that debris? I can't tell. Uh... Yes, he did land on the debris, so he Ooh. loses his action. This is going to be... He does not take damage from the debris field. Okay, so he's got a stress. And, oh, he's sitting right where... Yeah, he is, right he is tokenless. But Shirno, I mean, I think this is the first time he's taken a range. All of his other shots have been range three for the most part, haven't they? Shirno yeah. has not used his pilot ability, I think, once this whole game. So at least saving grace there. He's going to go ahead and palp in a crit. Range one. Going for the damage. He does Shirno's effect plus Palpatine to get... Ooh. I only see three crits. Three crits and there's something else there. It's off to the side, though. So there with that that up one up in the corner is a hit. So there was okay. hit and three crits. He's going to uh, spend his focus to takes two crits. Wow, that is a lot of crits. <laughs> but I couldn't we, see which. We've, uh, we've seen a lot of crits this game. Like at least just like crits on dice. Ah, uh, a damaged engine. So all of us, all of uh, red maneuvers. Oh, here we go. Yeah, all hards are red. And then we have and a thrust, thrust control, control fire, fire so, so. An, an automatic stress, which is dealable. dealable. Uh, it flips <laughs> if it flips down. Yeah, not too bad. It's not too damage, and it doesn't keep you from shooting. So that's okay. We did have a completion. Actually, I'll finish. I'll get to that after this. Ooh, after this round of combat. Looks like we got three hits going on from uh, into Shiranu. So that was Rex shooting into, into him, correct? Uh, I don't think that was Rex. That was... Uh, 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 <laughs> we, are we, we, we are commentating terribly right now. This is... This is uh, I do my best. So, okay. I'm guessing that was One of the from Braylon shots. Stram. Okay, that was from Braylon, sure. Great. Now we have a range run, Jess. Right, range run. Oh. And that's going to be the end of Chirno. Chirno that takes was... all of it and just got melted. Congratulations to Willie Glassman for taking the victory in the top uh, first round of top eight. Well, third round of top eight, but <laughs> Ooh, all right, it is. It so is here I am late. with uh, Adam Katnig, and I am here with James, the Flapjack Lewis. <laughs> And uh, we will be back with semifinal match. And as a point of reference, we did have a result on our last top eight game. Jim Frank did defeat Chris Pine. So, so yeah, looks we like we've got Tyson, Willie, um, Jim. We'll get finals. Don't go away. Please enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you shortly. Thank Here you. Total Escape Games.